Espresso and regular coffee are two different things. Do you know what the differences are between these two coffees? A little cup of strong espresso is the only true coffee. Some people think that it's a bitter waste of good beans. Bean itself is not the actual difference between regular VS espresso coffee, but the way you brew and roast the bean. Your preference is always good to get out of your comfort zone and try something new and unique. Let's start with the basic definition. Espresso is a brewing method and a coffee drink at the same time. Sometimes espresso is considered a black coffee that is tiny and violently strong in flavor. Regular coffee is a brewed coffee, usually with milk and sugar. This coffee does not require any particular type of machine for its preparation. Ordinary coffee, also called American coffee or black coffee, unlike espresso, is prepared using a machine with paper filters. This video will help you understand the exact difference between the two. The difference between regular and espresso starts with their key similarity. Some people think that beans are the key difference between them. It is incorrect. The coffee bean is the common thing in both of these coffees. Commercially, two types of coffee beans are grown named Robusta and Arabica. Roasted Robusta beans have a nuttier flavor, while unroasted Robusta beans have a more peanut-wise scent. The taste of Arabica beans can range from sweet to tangy. Roasted Arabica beans have a more floral and sweeter flavor than Robusta. Unroasted Arabica has a sweet blueberry scent. The main difference comes from how it is brewed. A particular machine is required to make espresso because it is brewed at an extremely high speed and pressure. Home espresso machines are also available in the market. These machines are becoming more and more affordable these days. In comparison, pour-overs are a simpler method of brewing coffee. For this purpose, you need water and coffee grounds to make magic happen. Some people consider espresso as the purest coffee, while others select pour-overs. This selection is all about your choice. The difference between espresso and regular coffee comes from the way they are brewed and processed. Espresso beans are roasted until it becomes very dark. This process increases their capacity to resist high pressure. Dark roasted beans bring out a whole body with low acidity and are perfect to drink with milk. When regular coffee beans are harvested, they are light green. At this time, it is unsuited for brewing. They need to be roasted to bring out their best flavor and quality. For preparing espresso, a lot of science is involved. You are working with a time limit of about 30 seconds and high pressure. The slightest change within these limits will impact your cup. Coarse grounds will produce an under-extracted acrid with fine grind size, leading to a bitter, over-extracted espresso cup. The size of the bean particle should be fine between flour and table salt. The grind size is usually more coarse in the case of pour-overs. You need a good grinder for perfect espresso to get a fine bean size. Brewing coffee is a method of extracting some of the soluble ingredients of the beans into water. Espresso requires a particular type of brewing process. In comparison, a regular cup of coffee needs a French press percolator, drip, and other methods. Traditional coffee pots cannot prepare authentic espresso. You have a particular type of skill to make espresso. It also requires the right tools. You can also prepare it at home. Once you learn how to make it perfect at home, you can enjoy this tasty coffee every morning. So the difference between regular coffee and espresso has everything to do with the way it's made. One of the classic misconceptions of espresso and regular coffee is caffeine content. The amount of caffeine depends upon how much coffee you have. But it is frequently assumed that espresso has more caffeine than regular coffee. If you take an equal amount of coffee and espresso, the espresso will have more caffeine. As everybody knows, that little espresso shot is loaded with all kinds of elements and flavors in a more concentrated way than you get in regular coffee. Most people think that the main difference between coffee vs espresso can be sampled upon drinking a single sip. Espresso has a toasty, well-rounded, full-bodied flavor that many contemplate much bolder and less acidic than the taste of regular coffee. After the roasting process, it has a rich coffee flavor and has a heavier feel because it brings out more oil in the beans. Now you know. This video should help you decide which type of coffee to go with. Have espresso if you like a darker, bolder tasting brew. If you want a casual drinking experience and a wider variety in taste, such as light or dark, then go with regular coffee. So, your preference depends upon your choice. We suggest you, why not a both? You can enjoy one of the best coffee drinks, especially in winter, by adding espresso to your coffee. It gives a hot chocolate mocha with a shot of espresso in it. MMMMM. Espresso can be combined with milk or extra water. 
This includes cortado, latte, macchiato, flat white, maracchino, cappuccino, americano, and many more. So the beans themselves are not the key difference between espresso and regular coffee. It's all to do with the way it is prepared. To recap, espresso is an Italian-style coffee prepared at high speed and pressure. You need a fine grind size and a particular machine to make a perfect espresso. In contrast, regular coffee is usually prepared by slowly filtering water through coffee grounds. So coffee vs espresso is not the competition. Some coffee specialists like espresso, while others prefer vivacious and smooth pour-overs.